up, everybody? Justin Rule here from Launch Kits. Hey, how you doing? Today on our Sparrow website strategy session, we're going to show you something really cool you can do with your launch kit, and it involves increasing conversion on mobile devices. So check it out. The cool thing is on your desktop, you might have a specific way that you want your menu. Um, again, those should be less than eight. We've got three, six, seven here on the main, and then you can have secondary things as long as you're subtle about it. But check it out. When you get to mobile, you know, what you can discover from your Google Analytics is there's usually on mobile devices, you know, the top five, six pages people are visiting. And so you can make those much more accessible. If you look here on my mobile menu, now I just have the top five uh, in a custom menu that people have uh, serviced and they go to. So yeah, main one on top, but then these other three. And then it even has this cool feature where, check that out, it's called a sticky menu, where as you scroll, just the menu itself sticks to the top. Can you believe I can show you how to do that? I can show you how to do that in about 10 minutes, ready? So hang in for this one. It's a really cool way to increase conversion on your mobile devices changing a custom menu for the mobile view. All right, let's get into it. So I'm gonna jump over to a demo launch kit. If you've gone through our boot camps or you've done our web design class, this will look really familiar to you. But here we have a homepage with a header and a single kind of menu up there. And if I go to the mobile view, it turns into the familiar, we call it the hamburger or the collapsed menu you know, that you have this whole feature and experience on. But what if you want a little simple top three? So let me show you how to do that. It's a lot easier than you'd think. First of all, go into your website, open up your homepage. If you follow our tutorials, you'll know the best way to do that is make sure that you go to your landing page. You want to right click, open link in new tab, edit with Elementor, open the link in the new tab. That will bring you to your homepage. Um, and then you're in the editor right here. So the first thing you do is click on the edit header link. All right. And once you're in the top editor, what you're going to do is right click on the blue bar and duplicate. All right. So what we did, we just created a duplicate of your header. And what we want is just a custom menu here to show up on mobile. So let's start by deleting a few things to make it slick. All right, now this is just your mobile menu. So whether you want your uh, logo there or not is completely up to you, but typically you'll want a little pared down experience. So once you've duplicated it, go back to that main one, right click on that section. Okay, so now I'm editing the top and you're gonna go over here to advanced. You're gonna go down to responsive and you're going to say, hey, hide this big bad boy on mobile right there. So the top will disappear on mobile. And now we need to go to the second section. We're going to right click on the blue, edit the section. We're going to go to advanced. Now we're talking about the second row here. We're going to do responsive. We're going to say hide on desktop, hide on tablet. And obviously then it will show on mobile. All right. So you've done step one. You duplicated it and you did the hide or show correctly. Now we're going to click on the mobile view and you can see this guy gets grayed out. So now we're just talking about this. All right. And what we want here is a real clean row across this. So again, we're going to take this. Now we're on mobile view. We're going to duplicate it. All right. And we're going to delete out the menu from the top row. So you're just going to right click on your menu, delete it. And now all we want down here is just the menu. So we're going to take all these other things. We're going to right click, delete on that text, right click, delete on that. All right. And now we'll notice our column here isn't quite stretching all the way across. So we're going to right click on our column. Okay. Edit the column. And right over here, we're going to make that width 100. You with me so far? Okay, nothing super difficult, all right? Now, we're going to right click on that menu and we're going to see all the options that are controlling that right here. Now, right here it says, hey, when do you want the mobile drop-down breakpoint? And 
it's saying, hey, we want that on a mobile device, but we're actually going to say none. All right. So that keeps our widespread menu, but you'll obviously notice, wait, that's our big long menu. We don't want all that there. Okay. Because the menu that it's pulling in right now is the main menu. What we need to do is create a mobile menu. All right. Ready for this awesome sauce? Okay. So what you're going to do first, just to don't, don't update and save it yet. You're going to go back over to your tab where your back of your website is. You're going to go over to appearance and menus. All right. You with me? It's really simple. If you just think of the logic of it, right? What we're going to do is we're going to create a new menu. We're going to call it mobile. Okay. You don't click any of these other buttons and we're going to get create menu. Okay, so now there's a menu here. Now, based on Google Analytics, based on your strategy for mobile, based on a lot of things, you can just select from all your pages, what do I want to show on mobile? And you can typically get away with four or five. So you might want a home link. Um, most people click on the logo to, back, to go back to home, so you don't necessarily need that. But you could say, hey, I want my about page. Yeah, I want a contact page there. Um, maybe you want a quote page and services. Okay. These are totally up to you. Once you check them, just click add to menu. You can move these around to be the right order that you'd like. So maybe about services, quote and contact. Okay. Those four things. And we're going to save that menu. All right. You just created a new menu, called it mobile, pulled in the pages you wanted and saved it. Bada bing, bada boom. You are a wizard. So now we're going to go to this page. We haven't clicked our green update button because we understand the world is seeing this right now. So now that we have a menu up here we can choose from, okay, we haven't saved it yet to refresh it. So we're not going to see our mobile just yet. We're going to hit update. And if you're really picky, you could create that menu first if you wanted to, and then it will be there. But then we're going to refresh this page. And now, my friends, look, we go to mobile. Well, let me jump back to my header, edit my header. You can see my two headers there. Go to mobile. And now we're going to click on this menu right here. We don't want main. We want mobile. Booyah. Check that out. Sweet sauce from Sparrow. So now you have a mobile friendly menu right there. You could go to the advanced tab and take away, click this unlink button, and then just take away the top margin to kind of bring it up a little tighter there. Uh, you could do the same thing on this top section. Let's edit it. Go to advanced, take away the linked values here. And on this one, you want to take away the bottom. Let's just smush them together a little bit. All right. So right now you've got a mobile friendly menu, totally custom, totally smooth and slick across your platform. You can play with your devices here. You can change your width of this view. I don't know if you – cool things you can do with your launch kits, man. If you're not playing in the sandbox, you got to at least have a coffee date with your website just like we teach you. Now, you'll notice – I noticed this when I made it a little bigger. This menu, edit the nav menu, it's on the right justify. Let's just pull that to be centered. You can actually do this, which stretches it. Watch. Boom. It takes it edge to edge there. So come on, man, have fun with your sweet launch kits. Elementor is a crazy powerful tool, but let's do one other cool sauce thing here. We want that to stick to the top. All right, so we're gonna edit that section. We're gonna go to advanced, motion effects. And right here it says sticky. Now you can be crazy, you can stick it to the bottom so that as you scroll, it would actually stick to the bottom of your site on not desktop, not tablet, just mobile. Okay. Typically though, I'd say, let's just stick that guy to the top. So boom, as we scroll, oh yeah. Now look at that. It's getting a little disappeared and that's because we don't have a background on it. So we're going to right click on that again, go to style and let's put it just a background on it. All right. So just choose a white background that way as you scroll. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. Are you are you oh man are you excited as i am look at that so with your cool launch kit you just made a mobile friendly custom menu so now if i go to this website 
Okay, I saved it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna view this page. Check it out, here's my page. Okay, that's your cool website, built by Sparrow, customized, optimized, and grown by you. Now we're just gonna inspect this page and go to, oh, look at that, mobile device, killing it. Now it may not stick on here, um, just on your little inspector tool, but try it on your phone. It should stick, boom, right there. So super cool, super fun. Another addition of cool things you can do with your launch kit. If you have any questions, reach out to support at sparewebsites.com. And let's keep growing. All right. See you next time.